Go ranks week four features some great matchups. A battle of unbeatens as Delhi Charter travels to Faraday. West Monroe makes a trip to Catholic. How about this game? St. Frederick, fresh off an upset of Gina, tries to slow down unbeaten Bastrop. Rams quarterback Dylan Downs says team chemistry has been the key to their success so far this year. At the end of the day, just being honest, it's just me saying my guy's better than your guy. And at the end of the day, it's like if you give us cover two, cover four, man, cover three, shells, anything like that, I'm just going to trust that my guy's better than your guy. Now, I'll still read the defense and I'll go through my reads and all that, but, you know, there's a lot of time where I'm like, you know what, my Z receiver's better than your number one cornerback, so, you know, I'm just going to take my chances with that. Over at Bell Rebel Stadium, a fantastic matchup featuring the Tigers versus the two-time select Division II champs, St. Thomas Moore. Devil head coach Mike Collins is expecting another non-district classic with the Cougars coming to town. We've got some awfully good ball games that we've played so far. We've got some tough opponents coming up, uh, you know, this week, St. Thomas Moore. Uh, but getting us ready to play in our district, which is a humdinger, obviously. And, uh, you know, uh, being able to make it through that, the gauntlet, I'm going to call it, uh, you know, has been, I, I think, has been challenging. But at the same time, I think it's gotten our team actually ready to play in the district. Rustin's three-step Texas Tango continues this week after beating Longview last week. The Bearcats now get ready for a Saturday afternoon showdown against Midland Lee Legacy, which this game will be played in Arlington. Even though the Rebels have won just one game this season, Jared Ball says the traditional Texas power should not be taken lightly. Well, you need to look at their schedule and see who they've played. You know, uh, if the ball bounces a little bit different for us uh, along these first three ball games, you know, our record is not 3-0. and uh, And it doesn't mean that you're not as good of a football team. It means that you haven't done the things necessary to, to come out with more points. And so I think you look at the teams that they've played. Uh, they've played some really good uh, high-quality football teams. And, uh, and then... You know, they, they've had some injuries. Uh, their quarterback got hurt early on. Uh, so trying to overcome that, uh, right along with playing a good schedule, uh, it lands you, you know, with the possibility of losing some games. And so I think you'll see from them, you know, hopefully not for our game, but I think you'll see down the stretch that uh, they start getting some players back from injury and uh, playing some, some really good football teams early in the year is going to help them down the road.